students welcome to biology class today we'll be studying morphology of flowering plants this is lesson number 9 in our textbook and in this lesson there are three units 9.1 9.2 and 9.3 9.1 is deleted in 9.2 we'll be studying only inflorescence flower and seed and in 9.3 there are two families fabaceae and solanaceae out of these two families family fabaceae is deleted so let's start with this 9.2 e this is flower but before starting with this let's have a short introduction the word morphology it means it is the branch of biology which deals with the study of external characters of the organism flowering plants the plants which produces flowers are called as flowering plants now when we say the word plant immediately an image is formed in our mind and we can visualize the different parts of the plants as we know plants these are living organisms hence they show characteristics such as growth and development as well as reproduction the different parts of the plants are root stem leaves flower fruits and seeds out of these today we will be starting with this part of the plant called as flower let's define this the definition states that flower it is highly modified and condensed shoot which is meant for the process of reproduction so this is the part of the flower with the help of which the propagation of plant takes place or this is the reproductive part of the plant then what are the different parts of the flower in all there are three parts that is thalamus pedicel and floral whorls thalamus it is also called as torus or receptacle this is the part from where the floral whorls are developed then comes the next part of the flower which is called as pedicel this pedicel it is also called as stalk uh, marathi madhe yala deth asa mhanto apan so the pedicel it is also called as stalk of the flower if pedicel is present in the flower then such type of flower it is called as pedicelate but if the pedicel is absent then such flowers are called as sessile flowers the third part it is called as floral whorls the floral whorls are calyx corolla androecium and gynoecium these are denoted as calyx it is denoted as k corolla it is denoted as c androecium as a and gynoecium as g so these are the floral whorls and these floral whorls they are developed from thalamus or they are present on the thalamus so let's see the first two floral whorls that is calyx and corolla calyx this is the first or the outermost floral whorl whereas corolla this is the second floral whorl the color of calyx is usually green whereas the color of corolla it is variously or brightly colored each member of calyx this is called as sepal whereas each member of corolla it is called as petal when the they are free from each other 
then the condition is known as polycephalus. Similarly, when the petals are free from each other, then the condition is known as polypetalus. When the sepals are fused with each other, then the condition is known as gamosepalus. Whereas, when the petals are fused with each other, then the condition is known as gamopetalus. The most important function of calyx is to protect the inner floral whorls in bud condition. The word bud is very important here. Whereas the function of corolla, it is to attract the insects for pollination.